Well, what's the deal, man? What's just working? What's going on with this thing here? It's, uh, it's just working. That's what it says, uh, what it's good. Uh, ground sound, super weak. Check your cable. Yeah, it's Dave, your volume's down. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. Hey, it went wireless. What's... Oh, oh yeah, duh. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so this is called the attack of the double stack. So what we have here is we have a mid 80s JCM 800 with a JCM 800 cabinet with 75 selections and this bottom cabinet has 65 watt selections, which originally came in the 79 through 81 JCM 800 cabinets. Here we have a 1987 Jubilee stack with two original cabinets that are in almost mint condition. What kind of speakers are in here, Dave? Those are all 75. 75 watt selections. selections. Yeah. So this is what we used to do before we had computers. This is raw rock power. Let's check it out. <laughs> is in the left speaker I have the Jubilee that has a fuzz on it. It's got it going through the Fox Tone machine and it's going through these two Neve 1073s over here. They're actually Brent Averill or BAE but they're they're uh, really killer sounding for guitar. So I've got a 57 blended with a 421. They're roughly at the same. The, the, uh, the 421 is a little bit louder. It's got a little bit more bottom end here because I want that Fox, the fuzz to really have that that uh, power. There. And then on the other side, the JCM 800, I have a 57 and 421, and I'm going through the Neve 1066s. There's no, ne no uh, EQ engaged on anything. Um, I have the two sets of amps panned uh, one each side, but they're perfectly in phase, as I'll show you here in a second. So now Dave is playing with uh, no pedals engaged here. So you're hearing the Jubilee on one side, and you're hearing the JCM 800 on the other side. So I'm controlling the blend of the sounds just by the mic volume. That is the EQ there. Is the, the, if I want more top end, I'm gonna put the 57 up higher because that's got more top end and bite. If I want more low mids and fatness, I'm gonna put the 421 slider up. Eventually, I'm gonna go in and I will blend all these down to one track. Either the, either be a stereo track, if there's just gonna be one guitar part, or I'll put them all up the center and hard pan them and then do a second track to double track it. So it'll be two amps on one side, two amps on the other side. But if I do that, I'm gonna slightly change the sound of with, with the pedals. So one channel will be straight with no pedals, and the other one will have probably the Fox in there to change the tone and make it, the stereo spread sound wider. I know it's easy to go to your gig, put your Helix, your Axe FX, or your Kemper in your bag, show up there, plug it into the PA, and you're ready to go. But is that really what rock and roll is about? The reason that they invented roadies is so they could carry around 
your Marshall stack and help you set it up or set it up themselves. If you want to move people, you have to move air. And what better way to do that than 16 412s and 100 watts of power? Well, actually, 200 watts of power would be better. do I love Marshall Amps? I love them so much that I flew all the way over here to England to show my appreciation. As you can tell, that's actually Big Ben right there. I'm in the center of London right now. I actually came here to make another video, but I figured I'd come down here to show my appreciation because in researching this, I realized that Marshall Amps and Rick Beato started in the same year, 1962, 57 years ago. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. If you're interested in the Beato book, go to my website at www.rickbeato.com. Follow me on Instagram at rickbeato1. And if you want to support the channel even more, become a member of the Beato Club. Thanks so much for watching.